Gospel according to Luke In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a city of Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the babe in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Dear friends, with great joy we have begun the year of mercy. May this year of mercy help us to know God closely and to be merciful in every small way. The fourth Sunday of Advent presents us Mother Mary as the model for our Christmas preparations. St. Luke gives us the beautiful passage of visitation of Mary to Elizabeth. This episode is a very inspiring event for us. In today's frightening world of wars, hatred, negative publicity and sadness, our every positive and merciful step towards others is what Jesus would want from us. So dear merciful friends, our first tiny step for this Sunday is to do good in haste. As soon as Mother Mary received Angel's message, she goes quickly to help Elizabeth. Mary did not think of herself as great and remain at home, closed and reserved. Mary did not start celebrating with her relatives and friends. Mary did not doubt her capacity to help Elizabeth or find excuses and think of going later. Mary is simple and humble example for us. She leaves immediately in a hurry to do good. Let us imitate her in doing good in haste. Otherwise, it may be too late or we may lose the chance to do good and our inaction can even do harm. Our second tiny small step is to have Jesus with us in everything. Mary did not hide the good news of Jesus, did not keep Jesus only for herself and her family. She did not take it as a fairy tale, but in her haste to do good, Mary, with joy, carries Jesus to Elizabeth. Her generous act does great miracles. John leaps in the womb of his mother. A simple meeting of relatives becomes a divine encounter and brings so much joy. Friends, we may do a lot of good work in our daily life. Let us do everything with the presence and blessing of Jesus. He may transform our simple acts into wonderful miracles. At home, at school, while playing, among friends, among relatives, and in every activity, let us not forget Jesus who is within us. Our third small step is to be filled with the Spirit of God. We know about people possessed by evil spirit, by bad habits, and people addicted to things and habits. The Gospel speaks of Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit. When one is filled with God's Spirit, his or her life becomes a miracle. Holy Spirit helps elderly Elizabeth to bless God and Mary. Holy Spirit fills Elizabeth with joy and helps her to believe in the plan of God. Dear friends, let us pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let us ask the help of the Holy Spirit to be smiling and joyful. Let the Holy Spirit help us to be grateful and generous. Let the Spirit of God transform us into true believers and positive witnesses of God's wonder in our lives. Have a blessed Sunday and a joyful preparation for Christmas. God bless us all.